personally i can't remember specifically how it was set up right now in this moment i'd have to go back and look um it says did you withdraw like i literally can't answer that question consciously right now <laughs> It's time to stop drinking, eh, bud? Oh. <laughs> I can't consciously answer that question right now. Should you be streaming then, sir? No. Should you be streaming then? Just do a but little then, like, Let's just show them. Let's just do a preview. Just show them all the faces. Guys, look at... Look at how bad this Fuck is! Us. Look at how bad this is, This is man. the worst one. Look at this that! This is not Photoshop's. I hurt this myself is nuts. today. This to see the one on the far right, bottom right, like, look at that. He's oh. like fucking dopey. It's like the various <laughs> different, like the six dwarfs of Rakeda. Oh. There's Grumpy. Look at this. He's like, looks like he's eating his finger for sustenance because he's in like a, <laughs> a famine or something. It's like, look at the sore on his forehead, man. Yeah. Look at the sore. He looks like, fuck, I've seen Holocaust survivors look better than this. Yes. Motherfucker I've skeletons seen, coming seen, out of the camps. I was say, I've seen the dead non-survivors. No, motherfucker's dead in the coffin. Like, fucking in an open embalmed casket. Embalmed and stuff. Embalmed yeah. and shit looking better. Twinkle like, star. Like liver failure incoming. Twinkle Target like gifted this five subs. Twinkle Target, Let's God go, bless the goal. Yeah, bless. Stand up, be yeah. counted. By God, what a Woo! fucking show we have for you today. It's actually, like, I'm like, we have, I think, two shows. Well, it's, it's crazy. So we have the this fucking guy who's just on one, just off his fucking rocker. I'm actually, for the first time in forever, looking forward to the Rakeda segment. So we got Rakeda last night. Uh, he was shivered. Yeah. Beyond, before it even started, by the way. It started, it was Here it is, guys, you ready? He looks this pause frame, huh? He does, man. Go, Hello, you beautiful n Will you Okay, so I started with this, guys. So, we start here with... Uh, this is going to happen later in the, in the thing, but I did one of those coming up. Look at this. And they go, hello, you beautiful n Will you please go back to Georgia in 1787? So this it's just totally incoherent <laughs> nonsense. The babblings of a drunken fool. So, so this, this is someone who apparently has a law degree, who is apparently like a really successful live streamer. You can't tell it by their performance right now. But at one point, this was somebody who had promise or yeah. I mean, something. Yeah. But he's just a total fool now. Yeah. And be owned by my ancestor. That would be offensive. Hey, what's up, guys? Well, so that that was the that was the actual uh, clip that someone posted that made me go, I got to watch Rotator stream from last night. Here we go. You ready? Welcome to Law Explaining the Interwebs. I'm your host, Nick Ricada of Ricada Law. Paul Law from in central Minnesota. It's over two hours, by the way. The whole two hours. Uh, look, as I was saying silently, with a lot more racism, look, show's really late. I got it. Sorry. Shit came Has up. Has he just Had given up? Yes. Like, he's just given up any sort of idea of being a mainstream creator or breaking through and being successful. He's basically just throwing it all down the fucking yes. drain. He's just burning it all down here. Yes. Because he's seething and bitter that Daddy Jim, like, said, like, in a very respectful way that he's kind of lost his mind and he needs to lay off the bottle and stay healthy and he has lots of reasons to be happy and, and to live for. Like, Jim basically told him exactly what he needed to hear, but he doesn't want to hear it. He definitely doesn't want to hear it from anybody that he ever had any sort of respect for or anybody that he ever thought had any sort of intelligence. And when he does hear it from them, it causes him to freak out and fucking spiral. He copes, And as we're going to see, yeah, he copes big time and lashes out at Medicare, wishing him to die. Yeah. He's like, I hope you don't that die. that clip? Well, it is in the other clip as well, yeah. Okay. I, I, I left that whole thing in, but if you have that clip, maybe I don't have that. I don't, I don't remember that, but there we go. To deal with it there's nothing well, i can says, do about he says to him i hope you don't die 
But it's clear that he does hope he dies. Yeah. It's about as likely as that he's well, not seething during these clips. Ash. I mean, he's just a mess. It's People go, was that fake? Was that Photoshop? Look, there it is. This is like literally 1080p downloaded from his stream today. Okay? Yeah. That, my schedule's been a fucking disaster. And life has been very erratic. So, with that, let's get on to the show. Oh, my God. If I hadn't scheduled the show, I would have just canceled it. Um... He said, we've had uh, some pretty shitty, like, upheavals. Uh, that okay, so, Ash, why was he late for his show? All right. Here we go. Well, here it is, guys. There's been some pretty crazy upheavals, he says. Not going to, like, get into. It's none what of what it? you think. I know uh, there's, like, a million theories that are out there, and I guarantee you. So, apparently, his life is in chaos right now. Upheavals. Right. Requiring him to like abandon his schedule. He's super late all the time and he won't tell us what it is. It's not the theory. It's not what you think though. What do you think we think? Hmm. Let's keep watching. It's not any of those. Uh, well, but why it does doesn't, make... Okay, why doesn't he just take time off streaming then? Just take a break. Oh, it was scheduled. That's why. Just change the schedule. I have a theory. I think Rumble. Is making a new deal, and the deal ain't looking so Yeah, bad. they're altering the deal. Pray they don't alter it any further. And honestly, like, because he's I'm not, he's not drawing sure. the same numbers he was drawing before. No, his chat's tiny. He's yeah. having, he's having nights where he gets zero dollars. You know, that's he's having nightmare. that's our nightmare. He's having nights where he's just straight up bringing in zero dollars, or like sixty dollars, or like a hundred dollars. And this guy used to be, like, in the top five for mm -hmm. Super Chats Monthly. Mm -hmm. Now, what's his name? Legal Mindset, Legal Mindset was is number two. Two. Because he's, he's covering some uh, VTuber uh, yeah. uh, lawsuit thing. But, you know, Rikada doesn't look and to... Look, part of it, too. Yeah. <laughs> but Rikada doesn't look to that and go, okay, that's being successful. Maybe I should jump on that or do stuff similar to that. He's just doing these strange streams where he just melts down, babbling incoherently and yelling racial slurs. And that's not really what people tune into Nick no. Ricada for. Like, well, it's, I mean, let's the haters go. might. You know, I was even looking at that fucking legal mindset. Like, what is he talking about? I'm like, Can we jump on that bandwagon? Let's go, Phil. <laughs> All right, anyway, you ready? Our lives a little bit more hectic and difficult for a while. Trying to remedy that as fast this clip gets as possible, but hey, it's just how it goes. This monkey wrench that's been thrown into uh, my life uh, lately. This monkey wrench. What? What is, is it, it? Divorce papers. As. I but if it's it. such a significant monkey wrench. Yeah. Maybe don't stream that. You have to take a break. Well, Maybe take like some time. Shit. I mean, like he he apparently has a lot of money. Now, maybe this is what the disadvantage to signing the Rumble deal is because now you're no longer your own boss. Mm -hmm. You now answer to a corporate entity, which was apparently what he wanted to avoid by becoming a streamer in the first place. And he shamed people for, you know, getting super chats oh, yeah. and, and, and being uh, beholden to the audience instead of to a corporation. But you know what the benefit to that is? I think the people are a lot more understanding when maybe like your kid is sick or... There's some horrible issue at home that's leading you to have to miss stuff. They might be more accepting of that than Rumble is when they go, well, you promised us X hours and you're not delivering X hours. Mm. What the f***? But do I don't know. That's just do me. Think, do you think it's maybe uh, uh, a Lady Rackets? Everyone's saying Lady Rackets. Baby number seven? No, there's no way. Let's hope not. Possibly, possibly compromise part of my ability to cover a trial. Did you, did you hear this? Wait! A monkey wrench has just been thrown into his lifestyle where it's possibly going to affect his ability to cover a trial. Is Rockets pregnant? Possibly. Com or divorce. Compromise part of my ability to cover a trial. J Rock says, Kino at Jim on Nick, everyone is sad for you now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, by the way, I didn't even understand what he said the first time there. What a felted face he had there. Holy shit. Oh my god. But but Ash, 
Hear the way he, he reads that super chat. Wow. J Rock says, Kino at Jim on Nick. Everyone is sad for you now. Like the way he sounds, it's like his nose is just. Why? Why? And by the way, the next clip I have on this will explain why. First, two, uh, uh, two things. One, why would you ever be sad for a streamer? I, I, I don't know. Because you used smile. to be, like, decent. <laughs> I don't but know. The, the question is, like, when you ask why would anyone ever be sad for a streamer, it's similar to asking why would anyone ever donate to a streamer? Mm -hmm. Or why would anyone ever watch a streamer? You know, it's like, I don't know, maybe it's not a rational thing. Maybe there are better uses of people's time. Or money. Or money. But it just so happens that people get attached to internet streamers. And they like if they feel an emotion like sadness for you, it probably means at one point they wanted to give you money and they felt so passionate about you. Or they loved what you had they to say. They loved what you had to say and they're disappointed in what's happened to you. Yeah. And so it's just a thing to say. Yeah. I mean, by that virtue, you may as well just log off then. Yeah. Just log off if none of it matters and nobody should react to any of it. Then just leave. Mm -hmm. Speaking of money, can someone give me? Give me welfare money. All right, here you go. We have the greatest job in existence. I'm. But, wait, wait, like, wait, wait, let's be real. But you're not taking it that way. Well, we you're, do. We you do. Know, I agree. But the thing is, you are failing at it. Well, he's not taking the good with the bad. Yes. He thought that this was just like a bed of roses, everything cushy, floating on a dream cloud there's never problems there's never issues but like with everything in life there are drawbacks and one of the drawbacks of being an internet streamer is that you're under public scrutiny mm -hmm. some people are going to make fun of you some people are going to criticize you now there's different ways of dealing with that but Rakeda has decided to follow the path of wallowing in it taking it really seriously getting really angry and making faces like that look at that that's not a guy who thinks this is the greatest job in the world. That's a guy who wants to die and is dying. Look at that mark on his forehead, eh, Ash? Look at this. I mean, that's a sticker. Like, that should actually be a sticker in chat. Kid, like, that is genuinely someone... the angriest person. Like, that's Grumpy Rackets. Like, the Seven Dwarf version of, like, that's angry yeah, Grumpy Rackets. Like, screen? it's bad. That's a print screen, right? This is a guy that tells you it's legally sound to fornicate with a grave. Indeed, Clay Pigeon. Indeed. <laughs> like, this is, this is, I mean, are you trying to tell us you're not seething and that you love this shit? But you're obviously upset. And the reason you're upset is because you read your Kiwi Farms thread every day. And we're right. And we're right. Everybody's right. Kiwi Farms is right. Josh is right. We're right. Jim's right. And everybody has different degrees of sympathy for you. Yeah. I think Medicare has the most sympathy for yeah. you. I probably have the least sympathy I, for him. I feel bad because I used to be a bad alcoholic and I understand the... Well, not bad, not like this. Never like this. But like, I, 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 I've, I, you know, I know addiction. I just, and I know it's rough. I just but think I like he's just... Addiction at his age, with the supports that he has in place, with the, the material advantages that he has, and the audience that he has. Yeah. I just don't have a lot of sympathy True. for him. And it's True. very, I, I just think for the average working person who goes to work 40, 50, 60 hours a week answering to a boss they don't like, having to make sacrifices in terms of their time, not getting to see their children like they might like, you know, the, the complaints of this fucking pathetic alcoholic about how he doesn't have enough time or enough control over his life True. or how he has to deal with mean haters in the comments, it all sounds a bit fucking rich to those people. It all sounds like you're a big, spoiled, fucking entitled baby who, as you said, has the best job in the world, but you're still not happy because everything in life isn't perfect and it never will be perfect. It will never always just be pleasure without pain. It will never always just be care carefree, no responsibilities. No, there are responsibilities in life. There is pain. There is suffering. There are drawbacks to everything. This is a guy in his 40s. If he can't accept it by now, he's a defective piece of shit, and we all just need to move on and let him die. But 
you know, there's an opportunity for redemption because he does have thousands of people who care about him. There are many other alcoholics in his position who have nobody who care about Great him. Point. Who have no opportunity More to make income. Who don't have a legal degree to fall back on. Who don't have a supportive wife or supportive children. And we're supposed to feel bad for this tantruming toddler yeah. in his mid-40s? Get he, a grip! He has to go to rehab. That's it. There is no other solution besides rehab. Until he goes to rehab, you're well, no, fucking, there actually is. You know what there actually is? What? It's called caring about your kids and putting down the bottle. Oh, rehab. He doesn't have to go to rehab. No, he does. He does. He do No. He, he you know what he has to do? He can't control Pour himself. out all the alcohol and stop buying it. He can't control himself. Can't well, that's control. pathetic. I know it is. I know it is. Well, it's pathetic. I know it is. I know. I mean, he thinks he's in control. He thinks he can quit any time. I know. It's not that easy. I quit without rehab and... And I don't I can know. Do it. I don't know. I can do it. Rikeda, it's easy. Stop drinking. Lock yourself in a room for a few days with food. And then, like, look at alcohol. People are saying he, maybe he really, maybe he should go to rehab. Needs, but the thing rehab. is, he's he just, rehab. he, he, he refuses to humble himself to that degree. He, he refuses to take the first step of admitting that he has a problem. He said no to rehab? Of course he said no to rehab. That's why he needs rehab. <laughs> drinking? On the job. On also, the like, he needs that, whatever that medication is to wean off of alcohol. Monday. What is that again? I don't know. No qualms is. about it. And my boss, who's me, won't fire me for it. He may be pissed off in the morning. Yeah. Look, Papa, Listen don't... to what he says there, though. Yeah. Keep playing it. Yeah, Keep yeah. playing it. Yeah, won't fire me for it. He may be pissed off in the morning. But so, his boss is a piece of shit. Pause. He has admitted that he is his own boss, yeah. and he is a piece of shit. Yeah. You know what? He, he just said that. Yeah. Look at his he skin goes, over here. Like, hey, look at his skin over here. That's a mark I could not stop but looking this at is, this is self, Look at that. This is self-loathing. This is hatred of the self. And you have to ask, why? Why does he hate himself so much? Why does he have this self-loathing? Spiral. spiral. Spot. I don't Spot. really get it. Is it because he knows he's up and there's no like recapturing his height? Like that he's never going to be that big superstar now that he maybe wanted to be? It's that? I, I, I don't I don't know. It's a mixture of unhappiness in his marriage. What you just said there. Also, alcohol literally makes you depressed. Purple Cow Cat says I he thinks it's cool. Is it really cool to be a self-loathing piece of shit? Look... Alcohol will make you a miserable drink it every day. I don't even know it. if it's the alcohol. I it's think the, 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 al of everything. the saying, alcohol is a, the alcohol is a symptom of his initial problem with himself. But yeah, so the initial problem with himself started and the alcohol is accelerating it. It's spiraling him. Yeah. It's taking those things and there's no recovering from it. Like there the, that's saying why. the bulls broke him. <laughs> I mean maybe. I mean, right? Maybe. maybe. His initial problem is unhappiness in his marriage. He's sad. He's not where he was when he was like super famous. And the alcohol is making him spiral now. And those thoughts are now just like, and now it's like belligerent thoughts. It's like, well, he's envious of Dick Masterson's lifestyle of being a carefree, yeah. alcoholic, childless guy in their mid forties, but it's all just a different type of hell. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. Know? And oh, like, for sure. And you know, the truth is, like, the grass isn't greener on the other side. Like, you always say, oh, well, if only I did it this way or that way. Well, you did it the way you did it, and you have to live with it. You can't just, you can't just give up on your no, kids. You can't. you can't just give up on your marriage like this and give up on yourself and give up on your career and being a breadwinner. This is pathetic. Sad! Pathetic! So if he's pissed off at him, who cares? Don't be ever sad for a streamer. Watch them, don't watch them. Hate watch Why? them, love them. Why not? <laughs> but you can hate watch them. It's you all just weird. Them, you like, like some, it is that. Watch them, it doesn't matter. Donate to them, don't watch. Don't donate. Our egos thrive on attention. It literally is irrelevant why you're here. To us. We want you to so like. I can't look at you and be like. Well, this is really sad. And but all you know, regardless of what he says, people are going to feel a certain way. Yeah. 
You can't you can't control people's emotions like that and so no 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 well you shouldn't feel that like they're gonna feel the way they're gonna feel man yeah and maybe if you just stop being such a selfish piece of shit they'll stop feeling that way about you yeah i don't know <laughs> yeah uh the content but if you are here because you don't like the content and it's consistent we won't know so with that said Gibberish. Um, first don't ever be sad for a streamer Second of all, we're repeating ourselves now. We're in the alcoholic loop. And Jim on, and everyone is, uh, or Kino Casino had Jim on, and everyone's sad for me. Okay. Thanks. But you don't mean just, that. You're being fake as Like your eyes, your body language betray you because you're shit faced. You're not holding it together. Look at the hand. The veins and the. Talked like, about his weight loss. But here. he just looks so angry. And he can try and pretend he's not bothered or this doesn't affect him, but it clearly does, or he wouldn't talk about it and go on at such length with such seethe and such cope justifications for yeah. everything. Like It'd be like, oh, yeah, oh, they were making fun of me. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. You know, it'd be move on. I don't know why that would be a bad thing or a good thing. It's just a thing. And, um, yeah, it's just a thing. Also, I know it's not based in any reality. What is he it, talking it, it about? Is. It's, you're I mean, showing it's, it. it's observable reality. It's observable reality. When you look at the pictures of him from a year ago to today, it's staggering. Yeah. When you look at the pictures of him from three, four years ago compared it's to today, unbelievable. it's mind-blowing. You can't even believe it. It's almost not even the same person. He's become this emaciated ghoul. He's like ghoul maxing. He's clearly sick. He's certainly not happy. This bitterness and self-loathing, it needs to stop. He needs to stop being a baby. He needs to stop being a child. He's a grown-ass man. When you decide that you're going to take your marriage vows to a woman and build a family and you conceive children with her, not just one, two, three, four, like five children with a woman, you forfeit your right to be such a whiny You forfeit your right to be such a whiny bitch. You need to start being a man, figuring it out, and stop crying and seething. Like, you made your decisions in life, you made your bed, now lie in it. Yeah. Or, you know what? Just be the ultimate selfish douchebag, file for divorce, pay the child support payments, pay the alimony, and go off to L.A. to be Dick Masterson's bum fluffer for the rest of your life. But stop being such a coward. Live your life. Stop making it everybody else's problem this is what people feel sad for you i don't feel sad for you because you have it all you have it all he's got a, and you piss it away he's got a shower that you can play tennis in why are you so sad you know what i mean like this mother probably has enough money where he doesn't even have to do this shit. yeah exactly this is just like holy fuck. so the sadness or non-sadness is what it is oh man okay cool uh keep watching jack johnson says nick why did you delete your gofundme for Pretty your personal soon lawsuit? we're gonna hear stop this. watching hear this hear this ash listen to this so he goes it's not even based on reality right i'm not so but watch what happens here uh keep this watching jack johnson says nick why did you delete your gofundme for your personal lawsuit i i don't think i did was it because you were being outraised there's another reason i I didn't delete it. I might have missed something. <laughs> I'm not aware. This is crazy. Uh, what? Yeah, he checked. This is give, send, go. This is. Uh, let's see. Rakita? I haven't been to it in a long time. Uh huh. Fighting Pokus lawsuit? Oh shit, it's not there. Wait. You're telling me you didn't know that your fundraiser was gone? It was deleted. But where's the money now? He deleted it. You think so? He deleted it because he was ashamed that Josh raised more. Because it was an L for him. I mean, he already got the money. There's no point for him to keep it up because it's just an embarrassment for him. So he's making shit up that he doesn't remember? Ooh. I mean, either way, it's pathetic. 
Either he's just not in charge of his own affairs and doesn't even remember f***ing deleting it because he's a weird, <laughs> and the money's all gone and his supporters were scammed. Or he deleted it because he was f***ing ashamed that Josh outraised him. Either way, it's not a f***ing good look. Yeah. Yeah. It's wet Page rain. not found. Page. I have no idea. I might have missed an email. Um, Buddy, I maybe this is why you shouldn't be drinking all the time. <laughs> maybe I really do believe him and he was just so fucking blackout I think drunk. He was blackout drunk. Just blackout drunk Angry. in a depressive spiral because Josh humiliated him. Mm -hmm. He's reading hundreds of posts of Kiwi farmers fucking dunking on him. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, fuck you then, I'll delete it. Ah! Like, just throws a fucking temper tantrum and is so blacked out he can't even fucking remember. And this is an established, educated man. This is a man who has a law degree, who has multiple children, who has a wife, who has living parents that support him, that he can go to for counseling and advice. How many of us have that? But I'm willing to guess very few of us have that. The sadness is not based on reality, though. He has multiple homes. It's not based on reality, right? I mean, like, that's what he's saying to us. It's not based on reality. No, no, I, di I didn't intentionally close it down. A trust fund. Maybe I missed something. Look, uh, so the people who wanted to donate, who asked me to open up a Gives and Go, uh, donated. That's that. I said from the start, I said in the Gives and Go. Bullshit. Look, I'll fund the lawsuit. Uh, YouTube. So, uh, <laughs> but you I mean, the, the like reality is you're not funding shit. Your viewers fund it. Just like our viewers fund us. Yes. We're jack shit. All our income comes from you guys. Whether it comes out of his right pocket or his left pocket, yeah. it's all coming from you fucking guys. Oh, the yeah. f is he talking about? I'll fund it myself. Yeah, Are that. you going to start practicing law, sir? Are you going to start fucking doing your job, your real fucking job? That you have. Oh, wait, you suck at that. You're fucking dog shit. You didn't have what it takes to make it in a real profession so you have to embarrass yourself like a clown day after day after day as baldo man and during the shame of it all it's no wonder he wants to drink himself to death if i had the opportunity to be a lawyer you don't think i'd be out there doing it obviously he doesn't have the ability or he doesn't have the balls to potentially fail at something maybe that's why he's so self-loathing now because he's failed at it and he hates himself because he's failed at everything in his life that was blessed from him from his trust fund from the time he was 16 years old i don't know but i find it very hard to pity this loser my youtube time has been shockingly uh, successful and overwhelmingly blessed shaman says it's People about disappointing daddy it's about d disappointing daddy medicar like I don't know, bro. Maybe, like, look at the fact that you have five children. You're a lawyer. You've made more money than Jim's made. Maybe don't view him as your daddy. Maybe be proud of who you are and the accomplishments that you have. And not view other 40-year-old men as your daddy. Yeah. Don't view Dick Masterson as your dad. Don't view Mr. Medicare as your dad. These are flawed human beings. And the reality is... He shouldn't be looking to people on the internet for guidance and like taking it this hard. Just grind out the job. Watch court cases. Review them. Don't be drunk. Wash, rinse, repeat. Right? Well, okay. Then we're adjourned. He said it's sad that Rakeda values internet drama more than his family. And he values alcohol more than that same family. And what? those are very vicious things to say about a person. But you know what? When you look at the, the all the evidence that we have about this guy, you can't help but conclude that that's the case. That he values internet drama and what people are saying on Kiwi Farms more than he values being a professional that takes care of his family. And he v values the bottle more than he does being a stable father and a role model for his kids. Because you know what? If I had kids... The truth is, I'd be ashamed to look like I look like today. I would have to be fit. I would have to be a role model. If I was Nick Ricada and I had these kids showing up looking like a ghoul, drunk, alcoholic bum, I would be ashamed to have to look my kids in the eye and say, have them call me daddy. Because you're a failure as a man. Wake the f up. What is this shit? We're supposed to feel sorry for you? Get up and grind.
get off the bottle. You have so much opportunity, more than most will ever have. It's ridiculous. Asked me to open that gives and go, and they said, please, like, we want to help. And I'm like, okay. Like, like, like when I was here, you could barely understand him because of how inflated the fucking blood vessels in his nose are. It's he one like thing. Nick, he sound like a like, Nick, it's stop. one thing if he hadn't made the choices that he made in life. Yeah. If he hadn't married Lady Rackets. If he hadn't had children by her. It's one thing if you're just going to destroy yourself. But when you have others depending on you, you have to be better than this. That's, the, that's what I'm trying to say. And I don't know if I'll ever get through to him. I don't think anybody can get through to him. But the reality is, this whole fucking sob fucking routine, this shit-faced fucking crying, self-pitying bullshit isn't going to get him anywhere. It's not going to get his audience anywhere. It's not going to get his kids anywhere. All it's going to get him is an early fucking grave. And it's going to be a warning sign to others. Don't do this to yourself. But don't do it. But what's Lady Rockets doing? Well, I don't understand if, why she's not doing something. She is she taking out him, a life insurance policy? If she loved Because I would if she uh, if I was her. Yeah, if she loved him, she loved the kids and wanted him to be. Wouldn't she be like, you have to stop this drinking, pour like break the bottle. Like, why is there no reaction? Does she not look at this and like like uh, laying next to her in bed and go, you look different. That's not who I marry. Well, it probably, but we saw in the hot tub. I mean, what he's, what he's, I mean right it might honestly be what he's talking about is he is having problems at home. He might be having problems with his wife. Somebody was saying in chat he had to go to church counseling recently. You know, it's never a good thing probably. when you're really going to church counseling. Probably. Like, you know what? You're probably in a tough place when you're going to church she counseling. She has to f intervene or leave him because he can't handle it. He can't handle being a man. I'm not asking for anybody to give me a dime. I'll pay for every single cent out of my own pocket but people want to give me money here you go so i open the page and then i never thought it's about it again to look at him um right I, no he's just entitled to, are, he's just entitled to like, people's money the way, though. No, but the way he's like he looks he's like his eyes are rolling he's like this like he's like these weird but mannerisms it's just his whole f like mentality is well, I open it and you can give to it. You get yourself into legal trouble by calling a guy with no evidence, nothing to go on, a pedophile. He fucking asks you to withdraw your statement. You don't. When somebody comes to you and you don't have that receipt and they say legally retract this and they have a lawyer, you know what you do? You fucking retract it and shut your mouth. Especially when you have other mouths to feed. When the legal funds from this make it so that his fifth kid can't go to college whose fault is that but it's on you to bail out his kid's college fund it's on you the viewer at home to bail out his stupid selfish behavior because he's entitled to it yeah doesn't matter i haven't checked email in like three weeks i i just don't yes. have any capacity to give a shit about email right so you're, so you're running a five business. hours in the shower and you can't, yeah, check, you can't his check email you can't check your email you have a fucking uh you have a contract right you have a contract with rumble what if they email you and go listen you stink but he's an adult and he he's an adult with adult responsibilities i mean we don't really have anybody depending on us we could go tits up and die tomorrow and it's not really gonna matter that much there's no you know like our parents might miss us or whatever the f this guy actually has dependence on him yeah this is fucking outrageous you can't check your email what the f is going on man when you're running a business we check our email i know and we don't even have like a deal we don't even have anything coming in. like there's no sponsorships or like <laughs> deals or whatever yeah. i don't understand this mentality Again. i don't understand why he's just letting everything go to shit why it's all has to burn down why does it have to burn down <laughs> one day we'll get an email ash <laughs> uh email to me is worse than regular mail at this point um but yeah like so i i don't know that's cool uh, I wish I would have. I wish I would have intentionally closed it down. As you, but I didn't. I wish I would have intentionally closed it down. <laughs> you, but I didn't. So he closed it down in a drunken <laughs> rage. <laughs> he wishes he would have closed it down. I mean, so you did close it yeah, down. Yeah, he did. But just shut up. Yeah, he did. Just shut up. 
I would have intentionally what? closed it down to you, but I didn't. Personally, I can't remember specifically how it was set up right now in this moment. I'd have to go back and look. Um, it says, did you withdraw? Like, I literally can't answer that question consciously right now. <laughs> then maybe it's time to stop drinking, eh, bud? <laughs> I can't consciously answer that question right now? Should you be streaming then, sir? No! Should you be streaming then? I can't consciously. What the fuck? And his chat was like, please, uh, Nick. Please, dude, you're f bro. I believe all of the money that was donated was given to me. I believe. Tw tw I believe. 20K. 20K. Like, he, like 20K to him is like me lo losing a f $5 bill in you the know, couch. I guess. I go, oh, I don't know where it went. I guess it'll be all right. $20,000. Like, how out of touch do you have to be? That's out of touch. Like, there are mother. I I think you're going to need the money, though. Really struggling. And there are probably a lot of people listening to this right now who are really struggling. 20K would change. You just misplaced $20,000. Of audience money? Of audience money. Not your own money. Not hard-earned money. Nope. Some, someone else. Well, hard-earned money from other people? Yeah. I mean, it, I, it is earned in a way, I guess. This I don't know. Is, this is dark, but... And then... Uh, Given to me, I don't think it ever hit my bank account, but it was given to Randaza. Um, yeah, twenty k was how much it, Ralph needed to change his life. His life changed money, Medicaid. Did hit my bank account when by wire transfer to Randaza. So, I don't. Did he repeat that I, twice? I can't remember. He repeated that twice. I didn't rewind it. I remember right <laughs> now the specifics of it? Uh, I'm happy to look into it. I didn't know it was even shut down. So news to me. Frozen toy. Oh my god. God damn it. Frozen toy says, sounds like life is kicking you in the balls. It does. I mean, look, it's not. Bro, <laughs> then what's going on? Like, what's going on then? Do you believe him, chat? Press one for yes, two for no. I just don't understand. So, if nothing is really going on, and everything is fine, <laughs> and life's not kicking him in the two, balls... Two, two, two. Why does he engage with this stuff? Why does he go on this sad sack piece of shit set of rants, woe is me, all the time? Why does he look so angry? Why does he look so depressed? Why does he look like he's dying if life's not kicked him in the balls? Funny. My... Like, there's two ways to approach this. There's like, pretend like nothing is going wrong. It's all fine. Put on a brave face, stay sober, and be stoic. That is honestly an honorable option. Option two is actually just be vulnerable and accept that you're having a really hard time and show your audience your vulnerability. The thing is that second option isn't really realistic in this sort of a sector or sphere because people are vicious and they'll go hard and they'll, go hard and they'll hurt you. And they'll use your openness against you. And that's why I recommend that he just toughen the up be stoic and try and power through this, which is really hard and it's really easy advice to give out, but that's really what he needs to do or he needs to just log off until such time he's in the mental composition to continue doing this. This is important. Life isn't kicking me in the balls. It's just that a bunch of shit is happening. So it is. <laughs> so it is kicking you in the balls. It's okay. <laughs> It's, it's okay. okay that it's kicking you in the ball. It sucks sometimes. Bad things happen. Like fa sucks, family man. die. There are people diagnosed with illnesses. You might be diagnosed with an illness. There are things that are beyond your control that happen and beat you down in life. And it's okay sometimes to not be okay. Yeah. But you, it's up to you and it's on you to get access to the resources necessary to bring you back to being a happy and productive person. And you can be a unhappy person and a sad sack of shit as long as you're still productive enough and you're able to provide for those that are dependent on you that is frustrating that makes keeping a specific schedule difficult life kicking me in the balls no life has been actually pretty f good you know there are motherfuckers who's like kids die their child dies and they have to go back to work because yeah. they have no choice but to provide for they their other children. <laughs> a few days off to grieve. 
And then you're back in that f***ing office. Yeah. Like, do you understand? Like, does he f get it? Like, I don't know what's going on because he's not telling us what's going on. But, like, f man, you can't stick to your schedule. Well, then right now suspend the schedule. Oh, wait, you can't because you signed a deal with the devil with Rumble, which you, pr you told us all was so high and mighty and so glorious, so much better than getting supported by contributors. What, you couldn't live off just the locals' money alone? I mean, he probably well, he could. Can't. I mean, he probably could have if he had just been honest with people. This is what's going on, and I need some time, and I'll be with you guys privately on Locals, and I really appreciate your support during this trying time. You know, maybe that would have worked. I don't know. But, like, have some self-awareness about what other people go through. He doesn't understand, because he's never actually had to work for money. And it's not that he hasn't worked to make money. It's that... He hasn't needed to make money. There's a f difference. When there's f homelessness over your head, when you don't know if you're going to make rent, when you don't know if you can afford the next bill or where the food, the next meal is going to come from, and you have people dependent on you, it's very different from him when he had a trust fund his whole f life, when he had white collar profession his whole life. He never had a need to work. And so, therefore, he can't understand the greatness of the opportunity that he has. It's the best job in the world. Best job in the world, yeah. By, by the way, uh, so a Revan said Warski knows about defeating alcoholism. Honestly, it just took me being sick of who I was when I was drunk. <laughs> and honestly, if I, I wasn't even at this level, and even then, I was, I was, What's I was your slacking seeing? off. What? I was being an idiot. I said I was doing stupid shit. I was letting people down. And I was like, and when what, I look at alcohol, I see that person I was, what, and I don't What want you're it. seeing here is a man whose life was so easy that it became difficult. Because he had never faced real adversity or real criticism in his entire life. Yeah. When you're so coddled and you never have to really battle or really struggle to survive, once you face that adversity, you will crumble. And that's what's happening to him now. And it's a real f shame that the first time in his life that he's ever faced any sort of real adversity, it's in his mid-40s and it's self-inflicted. But here we are. And, and also, people were, like, were asking, oh, like, do you have to say how many days you were sober? It's like, it really is one day at a time, 97 days. And I remember this. You want to know why? Because I don't want to be this guy. That guy I was. And he has to be just, admit, it really is, the truth is, the first step to defeating alcoholism is admitting that you're an alcoholic. And Nick has well, never done can't that. Well, you still can't, because Nick he doesn't want He doesn't want to face the shame of it. But this is more it shameful. Is, it is but shameful it's more sh this, this to is, say I can't control my booze. It is, it was for me. But it's more shameful to make these excuses yeah. and cry about schedules and this and that. I just don't think he really understands how most people view how he's acting. Yeah. Or maybe he does, and that's why he hates himself. I don't know. We got to get By the way, uh, enough because, uh, a, two, a two chili said, all we have is one day. And that's the truth. I don't have booze or whatever. All I have is this one more day. That's the high for the day huh. is one more day. <laughs> that's the truth. It's not always negative to reschedule something. It's not always negative to cancel a show. You don't like doing it. Some of it's positive. Some of it is negative. Live kicking in the balls is a very specific proposition. A very specific sort of outcome or implied oh, man, thing. No, nah, it's not like that, though. <laughs> Life is confusing. Mm, yes. It's it a very vicious. specific proposition. I am pontificating upon the nature of life kicking me in the balls. Yeah. It's not a very specific proposition. <laughs> this is a broad generalization that could be anything. Yeah. Just means shit's not going your way right now. Yeah. Which, it's clear it's not, man. Dude, it's, it's, it's okay to admit that life sucks from time to time. This is tumultuous. And the more people you add to it, namely... Lady Rackets, me, that's two people. Five kids make seven. We have extended What's family this? who visit us all the time. Husband and wife with four kids. 
Seven has now just become 13. There's 13 people at his house? So there's other family that are staying with him for an extended period of time. Yeah. So something bad must have happened with the extended family. Yeah. And now he feels a lot of pressure having 13 people. And I understand, man. Okay, we're heading into N-word territory, folks. Strap it. 13 people in the house. 13 people in the schedule is very difficult. If we include anyone else in those numbers, it just makes it more and more complex. There are occasional things that are relating. And some of those have canceled shows. Did you see that? Holy <laughs> Occasional like, things that are relating. I had to add that in there. And the, some of those have canceled shows. And some the of them have not. Lick. Just stop, M says you just don't. Stop licking the bottle. Oh, this is about us, I think. Look well out of your eyes. Wait, you look well out of your eyes. Okay, to well, M. Thank you for noticing. Well, uh, you have up days, you have down days. That's how life goes. Um, when you're a streamer, you do a show. Uh -huh. You have an up day or a down day. I won't tell you what today is. It's a down day. It's a down day. Today is a thing. It's up, it's down. You'll never know. Because I'm... In some ways, in some ways, the streamer projects what they want the audience to see. You can't, you're not perfect at it, of course. But it doesn't matter. You do a show, you do a job, you put on a performance, and then uh, people either take it or they don't take it. Some performance. I try not to be is. <laughs> taking anything I do. It gets better, trust me. Mm -hmm. What do you think this he's off? Like, this is like death of a salesman <laughs> or something. Like, I don't know. How you, it's Dumb stuff isn't like, for the internet's consumption. This is like the final monologue of a dying alcoholic. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. he keeps looking off death camera of too, funny, like though. he's in a Shakespearean play or something. Like, as the performance I, begins and ends, we are in life ups and downs. It's like shut the f positive or negative. By the way, his chat was going what? Like the whole, like, what? This is so like the whole chat was going, like, what? Why are you saying this? Like, why are you acting like this? There's no reason for this, man. Like, just, what? Like, it's so funny. Do you get an emotional response, maybe? Tis better Generally speaking, you're to suffer the slings and arrows of the A-Law. <laughs> the pain behind my eyes, great. Cool. Barnacle says, Eve have the Medicare stream, damn it. It wasn't a Medicare stream, right? It was Kino casino stream okay like every frame of pause the, he's just the gotta be stream. so pedantic like it wasn't like, actually the medical stream it was the kino casino guy featuring medicare you can see like the pain in his Medicare's eyes like you can there, see the like, sadness in this man's eyes it was the medical extravaganza we you, you know what it is why does he have to always prove someone wrong to be the just sad like, man like it's just everything he, he, he has to prove it like he's like He's like, hey, uh, you look a little bit drunk. Eyes. Do I look drunk? <laughs> like, why do you have to fight people? Just say, go, yeah. The Medicare joined. Hear this. Because I, I really don't. It's a weird thing. It's so weird. People, did you see this? Did you see this? Did you see this? No. He, he saw it. But he sees he's it. Seen it. He's we know he's the all seething on. Baldo of the come sector. On, like, the watched. all seeing, all seething Baldo of the sector. Oh. Like, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we know this guy's in the Kiwi Farms thread every day. It's been two days since the stream. And they all have been posting about yeah, it. Oh, in there. dude. So the, he knows. There's clips. There There's are. clips. And he's, so he's seen the general consensus around it. And he's spiraling about yeah. it. It's like cog, basically. And I don't really well, want why? him to be like this. Like, I, you know, this isn't... It's not really the most fun segment that we do. No! Show. It's not. Even this one, it's like, okay, he's saying the hard R. He's no, like that... a fucking drunken, shambling mess. But a lot of it's just like boring, like depressing, like end of life, palliative care for an internet person. It's over two hours, by the way, edited. Um, <laughs> I'm not even kidding. This is hour one and 50 minutes. Did you see this? Did you see this? Did you see this? No. Well, why didn't you? I don't really care what other people say about me. Liar. At all. Medicare has Pause. positive opinion. You know, that's such bullshit. But we know. Everybody, no, but everybody cares what people say about them. Yeah. When you say that you don't care how people feel about you lie. that no but that's you trying to make people feel a certain way about you 
that you're somebody who doesn't care. True. Do you know what I mean? Somebody said that to me, because I used to say that a lot. Yeah. Somebody in high school said to me, you know, you saying that means that you're trying to make me feel a certain way about you. Yeah, and that yeah. kind of changed yeah. up my way about how I thought about all that. Because in the end, everybody does want to present themselves in a certain way. Mm. And they do actually care what other people have to say. That's why pretty much everybody spurgs out about their Kiwi Farms thread. Yeah. Because as much as you try and pretend, I'm a cool guy and nothing bothers me. Well, there are some things that bother you. And when you're open and vulnerable like this, you reveal what bothers you. And then mother they start torturing you on it. Yeah. And you keep reading it and keep spiraling into this mental health toxicity. And it's But you're a grown ass man and you should know better. You know, when things like piss me off, you know what I do? Start editing a video, work out, play video games. I don't focus on it, you know? I'm not going to lie and go like, oh, I don't get pissed off sometimes. But yeah, Ashton's right. Is you can't pretend like you're, oh, no, I'm, I'm immune to criticism. Well, even like Medicare, for as much as he says he doesn't care, and he doesn't care more than most people. Yeah, for sure. But he still cares. When people, when Ralph went after his wife, I know for a fact he cares. Oh, yeah. Because that's what got him to be so f savage to Ralph. Well, the there Bibble are some thing. things. The Bibble thing, because he was like, yeah, Bibble, ah, you went around my, oh, yeah, I'll tell people to come to my house and look in the windows. Now, how does it feel when yeah. I went after a Bibble? Yeah. Because you could tell he was like, there are, like, there's always a line in which he's yeah. like, oh, yeah, you want to do that now? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. His negative All right, here we go. N words incoming. By the way, so at this part of the stream, very funny. He said, after reading these super chats, he was going to turn off the YouTube stream. He did not turn off the YouTube stream. Jim's hilarious. Love him. Love him. Uh, I think he's, he's one of the greatest uh, YouTube entertainers that exists. <gasps> oh. There you go. Oh. If he has some uh, perceived problem with me or my life or whatever, cool. Like, I don't, I can't change his mind. People have to watch out. But you could. And I'm not going to change anything. Hmm? But you could, like, you could change people's mind by changing your behavior. Yeah. Like, it's, you know, I, I don't know, like, this idea that people giving you advice is always a bad thing, or that if you take the advice, you're a puppet, or you're a loser. No, sometimes people are giving you yeah, good advice, no, good. even if they're pieces of shit. Like, a lot of the time, the advice Kiwi Farms gives is good. Yeah. And that's what really burns their ass, or, and burns people's ass the most, is that a lot of the time, the advice is good. Yeah. You're just not capable of following the advice, and yeah. that's why you see that anything i do based on his perceptions whether they're right or wrong so what's what's the point i don't watch any of this shit like i don't watch other people's opinions of me liar medicare's great he's very funny i would watch his content all day i'm sure he has nailed me to the goddamn cross that he can't build with his copd body see the scene um, there that's that's see look at him zoom in on that that's an angry nasty person who's thinking about the pain that Jim's in, thinking about how much he's suffering, and he's glorifying in it. And he's like... And yeah. he wants him to suffer. His seedy little body, yeah. like, oh, yeah. he's dying. And it's, it's like... It's the same sort of reaction he had to Josh when Josh was getting f over by Russell Greer and all that, and he was reveling in Josh's suffering okay. and the idea that he was failing because he dared oppose the baldo man. Okay, but look at this. You're gonna shit on Jim's seedy little body. He's dying. Well, you're you might, you you're might dying as well. You're dying as well, but you have the choice to not die. Jim doesn't have the choice to not die. You have the choice to stop drinking. Yeah. You're gonna die of fucking cirrhosis of the liver, and your body's dying. You're withering. Earlier, you talked. I, I cut it out. You're saying how you're underweight and you're feeling sick. Well, Jim doesn't have the option to be but healthy. But all Jim is... You do. But all Jim really said is that he should eat. He shouldn't worry yeah. about being skinny. He should probably cut back but on the Jim drinking. Jim's little body. Well, yeah, how he's how, dying of cancer. I mean, how dare Jim f open his mouth and give an opinion sure. about something. It's okay when Jim gives opinions about everybody else. Yeah. It's okay when they get their medicine or they get felted. But when it's you, then suddenly we all recoil and everybody is like this to a certain 
degree. Nobody wants to be criticized. No one wants to be felted. But sometimes you have to actually look at reality and go, oh, f they're right. And like the fact that he can't just admit that it's right, it is. It really is. Yeah. It's just. That he can't build with his COPD body. Um, I know people have uh, been asking about my health in chat, guys. So he's chat, by the way, at this point. I swear to God. We're all like, are you dying? Are you okay? Are you healthy? This is his response to it. literally everyone being like, listen, Nick, we're looking at you. This is not us, by the way. Not these guys. Our chat. This is his chat. So uh, I guess I can be proven wrong tomorrow. I have, a, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, but every time I've gone to the doctor, every test I've done, everything is literally... Uh, at my age, I'm in the best shape I've ever been in. <laughs> better than college, better what than high school, lie. whatever. Right. <laughs> <Brain. laughs> it's not without risk. It's not without the ability to get out of that. What? All of my uh, all my numbers are good. Thank you for your concern. I like it. seriously. It is appreciated. It was like a liver You're not number, an what asshole about Yeah, remember he's like, I know my liver number. It's liver like, number? like, listen, most people don't know I don't even know that it was a thing. <laughs> That's in concern. It's appreciated all the time. But right now I'm doing fine. If time people tell me... Shot, no one in his chat believed it. Okay, no one in his chat believed it. But it'd be it. one thing, like, even if his health was good, at the end of the day, like, his stream is failing. No one's wanting to watch this shit. Yeah. It's the sad, desperate copes of an alcoholic yeah. mixed with, like, very shitty legal analysis. Yeah. And everybody in his sector of LawTube has passed him by. They're doing way bigger numbers than him, both Killing. in money and viewership yeah. and, respect and respect of the voice. community. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's like, bro, like, by every measure that's objective, we don't know his health. Even though we can look at him and go, just like you can look at me and go, well, he's not probably not healthy. You can look at him and make the same fucking assertion. This mother is probably not healthy. Um, but when you look at the objective metrics, viewership down, super chats down, everything that you can actually measure about him is down. And his mood is down. Like, I don't know. It doesn't take a genius to make these observations about your mood and your health either. I guess we can't know for certain. But all the objective metrics say you're down, brother. Down you're bad. You're getting kicked in the balls by life. Just admit it. I'm not. You adjust your life. Like if, if they say, oh, you got too much cholesterol, you got to change that. Well, no one's ever said that. Any of that shit to me, cool. I mean, what a lie. Uh, what a lie. My opinion, the best shape I've been in since college. No. I mean, my did you see the lying eyes? Bring it back. Uh, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. In the best shape I've been in since college. Come on. Come, buddy. That's I mean, a lie. That's like an LA Noir. LA Noir. Like, this is lie, bro. It's not even X to doubt. It's B. It's a full on lie. And then the eyes, they dart yeah, over yeah. like that. That's a sign of a lie. Yeah. Look at that. It's LA Noir. It's like LA Noir. Like, come on. Dark, it, like, the face is. Come on, you can't even hold it together, man. It's a lie. Opinion, the best shape I've been in since college. If that changes tomorrow, I'll adjust my lifestyle. I want no So win. he goes to the doctor tomorrow. They tell him his liver's shot. You think he stops drinking? No. Because Medicare, like, let's be, when he went and they had, he didn't stop smoking. Yeah. Because at a certain point, it's like, well, you're f sir. So you may as well, you're and with, with, with liver and stuff, it's all good until it's not. Yeah. And then it's totally fucked. It gets bad fast. Like, what, like what's it breaches that line? It's over, dude. I know people who have died from cirrhosis. I think it's like, you know, like, like family, friends. And it's not pretty, dude. It's actually the best, the, one of the worst endings I've seen of a person. It's horrible. It literally was the worst thing I've ever seen my, on a person. Funny that some of the issues that Noel is facing are issues that he has claimed have would never be a big deal. It's treated very nonchalantly. Okay, I think that's kind of, that might be funny. I don't know if those issues are actually going to come out, though. It's my birthday, Nick. Can I get a toast? Heart, you and Chad. I can understand. I'll give you a toast. Consummate to your donation. Literally, just not fucking 
This is a joke. Is he okay? I kind of been happy. So, so this where right now, this is like the, the the where he's now thinks he's off YouTube. He's now belligerent, as you can tell. Yeah. I left this in and get ready for the next birthday. Part. May the progression Chat. of years arbitrarily Woo! by Alexa. literally a millisecond benefit you and bless you and change your life in positive ways. I know the assignment of a numerical integer. What? To the year that you were born versus the year that you're in. Pause. Matter. The assignment of a numerical integer to the year that you are in. Does anyone know what the f*** he's talking about? This guy's broken. The words yeah. numerical integer should never come out of the mouth of someone this drunk. <laughs> I don't know what I don't even know what to say. He's, he's drunk. There's to some people. It doesn't matter practically. It doesn't matter in reality and it doesn't matter logically. But people are not practical, real, or logical. Instead, so, they're just fucking retarded. Chat, he can't even do a happy birthday toast that isn't pretentious. It's, all it's like the most pretentious self-indulgent bullshit yeah. I've ever seen. I mean, look at him there. Here, here we go, dude. He's just licked out of his mind. You ready for this part? All right, here we go. Justin says, Lamau, Nick said, no. That shit's funny and rare on YouTube. Why is it rare? Why is be. Nick or N rare? So he just doesn't care so at all. So soft A, he says a few times. Which, so who cares? I, well, here's his channel says, is monetized, R, right? R and it's on YouTube, yeah. His channel's monetized. He has a back catalog of videos that get thousands, tens of thousands of views a month. He's bringing in a good income from his YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. He risks that stream of income for his children and his wife because he's drunk and he needs to be an edgy boy and say the hard R. How selfish. It's not one How time. Stupid. Not one How stupid. How stupid. Someone says, wait, let him cook. All right, you ready? Why is that funny and rare? What have we done to these words? What have, what power have we given to them? Well, we didn't they do don't anything. Need this is a high school. That's why I, I had a, a debate about in high school. You know. You know. I, I mean, honestly, <laughs> this is like some f like frozen in time, like teenager bullshit. It's just the man who never matured, the man who never grew up, and with a lot of these celebrities, like it's a common theme. This Peter Pan syndrome, Arrested Development bullshit. <laughs> Anything other than what you mean. Why is this a thing? Why is this? Here we go. Do you guys know there's a Blink 182 song? It goes like this. Shit, piss, f sucker, mother, f tits, really fart, turn, and twat. Oh, wait, that started as a George Carlin bit, but go ahead. Where is it? I know. We're, we're in like... F like Oh my god. It's so f cringe. It's just at it's a nuclear really cringe. level of cringe. It's cringe as fuck. We're quoting Blink 182, not only in the year 2024, <laughs> from a man over the age of 40, but we're quoting it as though it has some sort of profound insight on our society to list profanity out. I'm sorry, pal. This isn't f 1920. Like, all of this has been said a million times exactly it is done into the dirt why does that song exist those are 10 words we think? banned by radio and terrestrial airwaves why were those banned but not Nick? oh shit did you hear that yeah look and terrestrial airwaves why were those banned but not Nick? oh shit why were they banned but not oh, why does he why is he's he on youtube he's why is he doing this because he goes we're gonna end the end the YouTube and go, go only to Rumble, and then he just didn't, and this happened. He's just burning down his career. He just doesn't <laughs> care. Honestly, Nick, if you're watching this, delete the vod right now, please, God. He Why were they banned? Why are words to. given special import? Words do not matter. If I say, "Hello, my lovely," would you please pass me the waffle batter? So I can pour in the waffle iron at a holiday inn in the morning. What? What have I done to offend this beautiful... It's probably end the stream.
Yeah, he should probably delete the VOD. Yeah. African American <laughs> man named Elon Musk. Nothing. What have I done? Now, now, if I am at the same Holiday Inn waiting at the waffle machine, they go, Whoa. hello, you beautiful n Will you please go back to Georgia in 17... 87. Remember Maybe. when, like, I was Ray Swarovski? Even I wasn't this nuts. <laughs> Owned by my ancestors. He's trying to, that like, would be make the point that, like, context matters. Yeah, of course. And whatever yeah. the f But everyone Hello, knows. Hello, my dear. But everyone knows this. And it just doesn't matter. Yeah. And it's just a waste of everybody's time. And he just, he looks yeah. He just looks Look, I mean, just straight up, literally, look at him. I was just pissed. We're talking about Codex. Uh, by the way, freaking, um, what was I say? Uh, he's apparently live right now. He looks even greasier. Offensive. Why are these syllables and letters or arrangements so offensive? If you say n versus n honestly, what if you communicated differently outside of your intention? By the way, his oh. chat, his chat is screaming, "This is on YouTube! Please, Nick, delete, delete!" And he just doesn't know. Yeah, he'll look. I can't tell it. you. He, now he's reading chat. YouTube can't either. Rumble can't either. None of these social media companies can, because look. there is no difference. Because you chose different letters or syllables. The now, only difference that matters. Now he's looking is whether at chat. or not you care or don't care. Or like or hate the person behind what you're saying. Okay, man. Like, you're trying to harm them or not. That's it. Here we go. We got a. Now you reach chat? Yeah. Why haven't we done the rumble transition?